Hey, what's up, everyone? Hello, myself Jay, and you are watching Indian Nost Me Boy YouTube channel. Yes, guys, we are back, and uh, I'm back to a new spot. Yes, I'm back to my working spot that is Mumbai. I was making videos uh, from remote area that was Rajasthan earlier, but currently I'm back to Mumbai, and yes, I love Mumbai too. So a lot of people have asked me uh, lifestyle questions and people since I'm an ostomy patient they always question me that the, how you stay uh, how you eat what you eat basically so since I have overall like 10 years of experience with ostomy life so definitely I can guide you related to what I eat and what you should eat basically so this video is basically on what kind of a diet I'm taking after my ostomy surgery or what I used to eat earlier also basically. So I will say that I'm a pure vegetarian guy and my family is pure vegetarian and we have never ate uh, I guess uh, non-veg at least I can say that uh, not to my full family but yeah yes I'm a pure vegetarian I was a vegetarian before my surgery also before I was diagnosed with a cancer and after the treatment also I'm a vegetarian and during the treatment when I was going through heavy chemos and radiation and everything like uh, and my body was completely down doctor have always suggested me to eat uh, high protein food eat non-veg eat eggs uh, fish but to be very frank I never ate and and still you can get protein from veg diet that is what I did and that is what I will suggest you that hey, try to be vegetarian you can get a lot of proteins you can get all sort of proteins and all sort of nutrition which is required for a healthy body from vegetarian diet so that is the first thing I would say uh, try to be vegetarian so guys let me clear it that in vegetarian diet also when you are taking all the vegetables and everything you need to be very cautious you need to be very careful you need to try each and every food yes you need to try each and every food but you need to see that some food will create a lot of gas some food will not create a uh, gas so you need to are uh, try and then you need to decide which food is good for me I have I have made a special uh, chart for myself but uh, I know that uh, the chart which is useful for me might not be useful for many so definitely I would say that I would not say that you should uh, stop eating that food and stop eating that food so try with your body and see which food is healthy uh, you can cut off uh, tea you can cut off uh, sugar if you can yes they are not good for your health and uh, try to take a lot of uh, fruits in morning like you can take uh, fruit juice after breakfast so that uh, it helps in uh, you can say constipation because I have experienced that with ostomy you get a lot of a constipation and if you take a lot of a juices then it will help you to eliminate your waste in proper time so try to make a habit of taking uh, one glass of a juice in a morning especially after your breakfast so whatever you have eaten in a breakfast take a glass of a juice like orange juice watermelon juice or apple juice just after your breakfast and no need to take a juice uh, in night that I always avoid and for a milk I think uh, Initially milk was not healthy for me because it always create a lot of loose motion for me and today also even it is 
I am better with the milk, but still I don't take milk. Uh, it is optional, I would say. Uh, if you if you want to, you can try milk. And if you think that you are able to digest milk properly, then you can take milk. And if you are not, then strictly avoid it. You can take a lot of chas buttermilk, uh, curd in the morning, afternoon, wherever you want. Yes, that you can take definitely and milk if you want to take try in a night and if you are able to digest it properly <laughs> then definitely you can carry on but if you take my experience and if you take my suggestion i would say uh, you, if you can avoid it then it would be better because it will create a lot of a uh, uh, loose motion or you you can say a semi liquid uh, stool will increase if you are taking milk that is what i have experienced i'm not sure that will happen to you or not so that is why i say experiment all the food and see which food is good for you uh, cereals pulses that is what uh, that create a lot of a gas i would say but it's good to take in little quantity uh, see to that you are not taking uh, in night that much if you're eating dal and everything so take it in a very less quantity if you are completely dependent on vegetarian then uh, you can take but see to that you are not taking much quantity in night especially because it will create a lot of gas so avoid it if you can in night especially not in a large quantity small it's good and talking about junk food i would say junk foods are never healthy for any person if you take it uh, frequently but if you take it occasionally then definitely you can try junk food also and if you are trying junk food i would say take it from a very hygiene place or you can eat from a very good restaurant or hotels and everywhere so there you can avoid little bit of a health problem otherwise it will always create a food poison or anything so be careful with junk foods take it occasionally if you cannot avoid it completely so I'm always there to guide you people but obviously each and every person have their own body and they can try whatever they want they are free to make your decision I mean you uh, everyone is free to make their own decision so try whatever you want I'm there to suggest if you want to take the suggestion you are most welcome otherwise do whatever you want <laughs> So that's all guys, myself Indian Ostomy boy. If you like my content related to Ostomy and everything which I post, do like the page or do like this Indian Ostomy boy YouTube channel. More such content will be coming on this YouTube channel and currently I am signing out. Take care and goodbye.